What up, fellow Rus players? It's your boy Defango here. Today we're going to be talking about the most important automated circuit that you could build with Rus electricity and otherwise. And it's pretty simple. All it really takes is a small box and some furnaces or a large box as I'm using. I already got this, some stuff set up in here. I already got the furnaces turned on too because in a in-game setting, that's probably what you would be doing. So let's say you got a little setup like this and you want to get it automated. This is what you're going to need. We're on a build server right now so you can actually see what's going on, but you'll need yourself a wire tool. You'll also need yourself a pipe tool pipe wrench next you're going to need a small battery a solar panel one conveyor and some storage adapters and with all of that you can basically start automating all of the things that you require to do in rust which is smelting stuff so start simple enough just putting a storage adapter on each of the things next We'll get a simple conveyor set up. We don't need to worry about getting that thing with any type of filter or anything like that because the way the game works it is fine. We'll just set down one battery and we need ourselves a solar panel in a direction that's going to get us some decent sun. After that, pretty much done. Just need to do a simple direct connection current setup. You could do fancier stuff later, but this is a setup that you could build with a tier one workbench. That's why it's a tier one auto smelter. Kind of makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Outside of that, all you really got to do is get that battery connected into the conveyor and boom. You're pretty much done. After that, we're just going to take an industrial out on the box and connect it to the industrial input on the conveyor outside after that we'll take the industrial output and interweave it with all of the inputs and outputs on these furnaces which is not going to take you too long I'm trying to do it nice and slow so you get it too and once you get to your last furnace because you could do this with one or you could do it to, I think, up to like 31 other furnaces or maybe 29. I don't know. It just you, know, you could put a lot on there is the answer. And then after that, you're just going to connect the last uh, output into the input on the box. And then that completes the basic circuit. And then you just want to turn on the this guy. Now, this is a thing where you're going to want to keep it loaded, right? So, we already had these guys running. You'll notice that these are going to keep filling up as more stuff keeps coming in. And then it's going to start pulling this out as it's going and smelting it. You'll notice that it keeps doing that. And it's not going to be incredibly fast if you only have one to three. The more furnaces you have connected to it, the faster it will be. But at the same time, the more charcoal it's going to create. So you're going to want to make sure that you're at least keeping the box filled, right? You know, for every thousand of one, you're going to want at least a thousand of wood. And that should pretty much keep you from burning all of the wood that you have. And as far as I know, you know, this is its own little system here. So you're not going to have to worry about taking any of the wood that's in your precious boxes or burning up stuff that's in your TC. And later on, if you wanted to, you know, you could put a storage adapter or another storage adapter onto the box and you could actually extricate different stuff from it where you have it bringing all the smelted materials into your TC or just pulling the charcoal out of the box. But even then, you know, you're just going to be walking up and pulling out your spoils. You let this thing go overnight and you're pretty much good to go. And like I said, it's a simple, easy circuit. You can build it with nothing but tier one workbench requirements. And then you're pretty much good to go. As far as it goes, once this system is done, you can expand it when we get into the tier two system, which will be the next video that we do. But as you can see, it kind of runs itself. And when it runs out of wood, it'll eventually shut off. And all you really got to do is just put some more wood in each of the furnaces, throw some, you know, 
fuel into it, put some ores into it if you want to, and then just get them started. And then after that, it'll start, it'll just keep kind of running and you'll be able to just kind of come grab the spoils that you need. And as you have different stuff in here, you'll start to figure out exactly how much wood you need and whatnot. But this is by far the easiest way to get started in your auto smelting experience. No complicated circuits or anything, you know, just a solar panel, a battery, and a conveyor. That's basically it. And you still have, like, at least, I think, what, nine other power or so useful. So you can set up some lights or a simple door camp circuit, which will be something that we get into later. And that's basically it. In the next videos, we'll expand this to the Tier 2 level and then will give you the reasoning behind the ways that you do it. Since the game's all about progression, we want you to be able to progress pretty easily. And we also want the setup to be as simple as possible so it can be integrated into different base designs that you see, like this one. And another thing to remember is that when you put these types of adapters on top of the furnaces, you'll notice that it changes the height, you know? that you would be there so normally you might be able to squeeze yourself up here but then now you might not be able to so it's just something to think about when trying to automate your bases because some people like to use furnaces as jump ups and this might screw it up either way thank you so much for watching the video if you like what you heard make sure you hit that like button and subscribe other than that we'll see you on the next one. Oh, and if you see me in the game say what up Peace out, y'all.